Hi everyone, this is Real World Audio. If you like my videos, please like, subscribe, tell your friends because YouTube is uh, not too keen on promoting uh, tiny channels like this who are made by people who do not make any money on that. So I'm not making any money. So <laughs> here we go. So this episode is uh, is about uh, trans transformer based volume controls and Tiago asked about it because this is something that most people do not know about and I like to uh, tell you about the difference between uh, using transformers or using traditional uh, volume pots resistor based approaches so why is transformer better than uh, than using uh, an attenuator what are the benefits what are the difficulties what's the physics behind it and uh, how is it useful for you so here we go uh, for traditional volume control methods that we have in uh, basically in 99.999 percent of the preamps or amplifiers we get it's uh, it adds series resistance uh, into the signal so let's say we have here our source which is maybe like your streamer and then here is the output of your preamp that goes to your amplifier and when you add the volume control in between so as you are decreasing the volume then you are adding series resistance between these two spots between the source and the load which is your amplifier and and adding this series resistance cuts down at the level of the signal that's coming from your source so basically the volume control pot is a brake pedal so when the signal is coming from your CD, it is, with a car analogy, it's like stepping on the gas. And then it, the signal wants to jump very high. But now with our volume control, we are adding series resistance. So basically we are breaking that, uh, that signal so it can come only partly, only half. If we are uh, turning the volume even more down, then we are breaking more and more so the signal that exits your uh, preamp will be smaller and smaller there is a second consideration for uh, volume controls and that second consideration is impedance so impedance means resistance for alternating current so if you do know too much about physics then resistance, it literally means the resistivity of a piece of wire. So let's see. So here I have a piece of wire and uh, I try to pass current through it. And basically the amount of uh, heat produced in this uh, piece of wire and the decrease in the voltage at the other end of the wire that tells you that this piece of wire has a certain resistance now if the current is not dc current this this happens when when the current is flowing only in one direction that's dc current now ac is when the current is going back and forth back and forth and depending on the speed of the current going back and forth we have different resistance in the case of a coil so for example if you have a, 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 a coil which is also coiled as an inductor or a choke then depending on the frequency of the sound or the frequency of the electricity before it's transmitted or transformed into sound so depending on the frequency of the electric current the resistance of that coil is going to be different now uh, here we go uh, the problem with that 
with impedance is that uh, if we have a problem uh, in the impedance regards, it's going to cut base response. And now, if uh, the problem with the series resistance, with the volume control placing series resistance between your source and your load, is that the more you put in, the more detail level is going to get cut. So if you have a, a simple, a traditional volume control, then uh, eventually as you change the volume, the impedance stays the same. So we have the same uh, difficulty for base response, but as we go uh, lower and lower in the output level, we are missing out more and more on the detail level. Let's go back. Okay, here we go. So let's have a look at the physics of it. Let's say that you, we have our source output, which is at two volts. And then if we drop the level to one volt, that's, that means that it's a six dB drop, six decibel drop is dropping the voltage to one half. And uh, if we drop it from two volts to half volt, then it's a 12 dB drop. And uh, let's see, what, the, what does that mean? What can, how does this happen with a traditional attenuator, like just a, a pot, a volume control pot? What does it do? So if it's a 100K pot, then when uh, when we drop it down to one volt, then we are adding fifty kilo ohm uh, into the uh, signals path. So we are breaking with fifty k. So it means that fifty k gets in the way of the signal. And if and that means that you are getting 50k in the way of the signal when you drop it 6 dB from peak volume. So this means that uh, even in that case when you do an average listening and your volume pot, let's say if uh, let's say six o'clock is the maximum, and you are at uh, 4 o'clock or, or somewhere around between 4 and 5, you still have half of the resistance of your attenuator between your source and between the output of your preamp. So it means that it's half of the pot is there and it's uh, taking away and altering the signal quite a bit. And if we drop like 12 dB, even that is a very high listening level in most cases, then you already have almost all of the volume pots resistance between the source and, uh, and the output. So you have 75K coloring and taking away the sound and causing loss of detail signal degradation and adding noise floor. So basically, uh, when you use a traditional resistor, a pot, then uh, the quieter you make your music, then uh, you are like breaking with your car, like trying to uh, accelerate with your car and brake at the same time and you lose a lot from the signal. And uh, the quieter your music, the more it is degraded. And no matter where the volume is, low or high, the impedance is high. So you are going to get a constant loss of the bass frequencies. Uh, now, let's see. What is our next slide? So the next thing that we will look at is transformer technology. So this is when you use a transformer to change the volume in your preamp instead of a resistor. And we will find this out in our next video. Please like, subscribe, tell your friends. Thank you. Bye-bye.